Hello, so my name is Sigita and I'm here today talking to uh, Emanuela, who is a PR manager at Dior Menswear. Hi, Emanuela. Hello, Sigita. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us. So I'm going to be asking Emanuela about how PR industry changed during the lockdown and all the challenges it faced and also how it's going to look in the future. So during the lockdown, a lot of brands actually use technologies to present their collections. And I know that actually Dior Menswear presented their spring summer to 2021 collection in an online exclusive video format. And uh, I was just wondering, Emanuela, could you tell me more about it? Well, it was definitely sort of a reaction to the current society and what the, the current the global state of affairs. And, uh, you know, when lockdown hit the, the majority of the country here in Europe, that we, we were then affected in terms of production and in terms of keeping the same, um, the same formats that we've always been relying on. And uh, when uh, life gives you such a, such a big, unexpected... Uh, momentum such a pandemic you just have to kind of react as as the time comes and um, it felt um, it felt important to still present a collection and it felt important to keep this on a digital level um, and we created then a, a short film about both it was divided into two parts one part was related to the artist collaboration um, that we have done and therefore um, it was kind of a presentation about the artist world. And then a second part, which kind of uh, uh, took the inspiration behind like a, a fashion film. Uh, where, that's where the actual pieces of the collection were presented. And we streamed these on the Dior website and other websites um, that were hosting our shop. That's amazing. Um, and well, obviously we're talking about the digital format and how important it was to move to digital format. And what I'm interested in is, do you think that digital format can fully replace the physical or do we still need shows, presentations, maybe slow down a bit, but still keep them happening? What do you think? I think it is a, there's an importance related to the physicality of, uh, of what we do. And, you know, especially to be able to see the craftsmanship behind the clothes and specific pieces uh, there's still it's still important in my opinion that we keep some kind of uh, physical format but i also definitely think that a lot of brands out there are now exploring how to fully integrate the, the digital aspects within the physical formats that we've always known to use so hopefully this will be an exciting moment moving forward where we will see kind of changes embracing both the physical aspects of presenting a collection and the new digital aspects. Maybe they could actually somehow merge together. That would be pretty interesting to see. Exactly. And, you know, like for when you have people like buyers or press who need to see the collection up close, um, a runway show is, uh, is important. And as well as, as the receipts and appointments to be able to kind of see the collection um, in, in proximity. So these are, these are all aspects that I don't think will be um, fully replaced with digital. But you can definitely get more uh, digital um, format involved in order to blast uh, these uh, um, collections out. Yeah, um, I, I definitely agree with you. Um, and one of the things that I actually really wanted to ask is especially because if we're talking about, you know, receipts and showrooms, you mentioned that. And what I've noticed is that especially in fashion industry and in PR, it's really hard for people to balance their work and life, uh, you know, to keep um, maintain a healthy balance. And I was just wondering, since during the lockdown, everyone moved to work from home. How was that for PR? Like how, how challenging was that? And, you know, did you manage to keep a balance or was it a bit harder? How did you adjust to I think, I think it was an important moment because it, it, you kind of it, there was a, there was some proof in the fact that um, it, especially the job of PR is a job that can be handled behind the screen in any location that you could possibly be. But at the same time, we did realize how important again is the physical aspect for aspects. For example, to be able to meet your team or to be able to have someone handling the physicality of the actual samples that I use within the PR department, or like the physicality of being present during an interview with one of the designer or a spokesperson. So lockdown was interesting because as, as, as much as it's creating, like it's giving people 
um, a bit of a break from their from their rushing lives uh, um, and as make people have that time to kind of stop for a second and uh, being able to leave a bit more at the same time we were in lockdown so we were all locked in a place uh, in a house or someone else's house or in a location so we all kind of came to the realization of how like it's still nice to have that physical aspect of being able to meet your team and uh, being able to go and meet people for meetings and stuff at the same time the digital aspect has proven as i said that you can do this job in a remote location so i'm hoping that the post lockdown will be a good balance of both yeah. so um there was this this big phrase uh, um that has started a long long time before i started to do this job of why putting in uh, um, a phone call when you can put it in an email you know there are aspects of become a very big reality yeah. of uh, being able to just uh, there's no need to uh, sort of call people or at the same time meet them in person to be able to kind of start a project or handle it or uh, kind of have that come to fruition but at the same time this is a job of public relations so it's a job that it's about mixing people together it's about mixing reality and environment and get the best out of it yeah I definitely agree. Um, it's actually interesting to hear your experience, especially since you are already working in the field. Um, and one of the things that I was also thinking about is that, so during the lockdown, we really seen a lot of brands um, starting their podcasts. They were doing, uh, you know, Instagram live videos. They were creating online photo challenges. There was a lot of engagement with community and trying to to start talk to start conversations with their audience. And I feel like a lot of of that job really went on to PR side. And I was just thinking, how would you, how do you think um, the quarantine experience will change how PR's role is perceived? And like, does it make PR people actually seem more important than we ever thought before? Because I feel like it's on us to create that relationship and communicate with those audiences in hard times. I personally, for, for my experience, I personally don't think that uh, we needed a lockdown to be able to make sure that if um, the value of a PR is fully understood within a company. Uh, yeah. But it's definitely, it's definitely helped uh, in terms of uh, um, the, the lockdown has facilitated essentially more of an understanding of uh, what a PR person does. Uh, for example, in a, in a, in a lot of company, um, there were a lot of people that were furloughed from uh, very many different departments but you could see that the PR team were kept on and was uh, and had to carry on working through quarantine and lockdown and uh, through the through the craziness high peak of the pandemic and as you said that's because that's the job of a of a person planning the communication moves uh, and the, the communication of a brand never stops whether it, it, the angles of the communication can definitely change, but the, communi the communication cannot stop. And therefore, a PR is always needed in that sense to make sure that everything keeps going on. At Dior, for example, we focused a lot on creating different activities such as post podcast or talks um, that then were featured both on our website and social media channels as well as on um, media partner that we work with um, and those are activities that are kind of handled from a PR department yeah um, well I mean I agree definitely that it would technically didn't need the talk down to notice how important PRs are but I guess for some brands it was a highlight moment where they've realized how important it could be um, and just talking overall like taking the whole experience that we had during the lockdown and quarantine and with all the restrictions um, and all the experience we got while, while in that situation, how do you think the lockdown changed the PR, the fashion PR industry? And how do you think it's going to you know, change after everything reopens and goes back to normal or new normal? I think the PR experience for many different PRs has changed in a sense of uh, kind of slowing down the pace uh, for start and understanding how you can't really do PR, fashion PR 
if you don't have a full understanding and knowledge of what the current society is going through and what the um, state of affairs globally is. Um, so as sort of, I think, in my opinion, has made a lot of people realizing how the two and two needs to go together and you cannot keep pushing your fashion PR agendas if the environment that you're pushing this PR agenda in is not ready to receive it or it's not the right time or there's more important conversation happening. Um, so in that sense, I think it's made a lot of fashion PR realize how we really need to be into society and really understanding what um, everybody's going through to be able to do the job at the best that we can. Thank you. That that actually sounds like a really great sum up of you know, the most important lessons we all had to learn. Um, thank you so much, Emanuela, for agreeing to speak with me. Um, this thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Honestly, thank you for taking your time amongst all the work you have to do. And, you know, it's, it's really great to have you because you have, I think, such an amazing experience and, you know, such great opinions. So it was a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you. No, honestly, thank you for the time. I always appreciate uh, being able to spend a moment to converse about these topics. And, you know, this is really what I was telling you about. It was really about, like, using every opportunity that you are given to stop for a second and think outside the box that a company is trying to tick.